when you learn to take care of yourself it is easier to take care of other people Yes, it is a bit complicated of a, of a thing to do. But first of all, you have to learn to take care of yourself. Then you can take care of other people. Welcome to my channel. I'm the principal farmer. The principal farmer is in the house. And we are going to look at how we are going to take care of our passion fruits. Such that we don't have abortions. Flowers falling off. Like here. I have one. It has dried. It is just right here. I think it is about to fall off so let me just pick it this is a flower of the passion fruits and it is showing that it is drying out so we are seeing some of the reasons why we may not get the fruits like these ones in my hand like these ones here like these ones here why because some people came to visit me and they were like how are you managing to get some fruits from your farm because some of us who have tried this and we are failing However, farming in these semi-arid areas, when I had just started, you know people who are always happy. I'm a happy person most of the time, for those who know me. But we are people who can always break, how can I call it? Like, you break down the most, even with something little that people cannot imagine. Like, sometimes I could be farming here, and I find people come to me. Christine, I don't have this. Christine, my children are sick. Christine... Reason being, we are in the semi-arid areas and the challenges of semi-arid areas, they are famine, malnutrition, all those things. So whenever these people could walk away, I could feel like the time when uh, Moses was taking people out of uh, the slavery, they are going to the promised land. That is in the book of um, Exodus. I think it is um, chapter 14 verse 19 to 30 30 or 31 that's where we can find that story in the book of exodus so i could sit down and i break down i lie on my pillow and i even cry and i'm like god you made me a farmer but this farming activity is a bit hard how will i manage to do it we are in the semi-arid areas i don't have a good source of water but every day i'm growing and i'm grateful to god i'm telling you so we are going to look at why these flowers may abort and they don't make for us fruits like these ones here. Number one, why you may see a flower like this? It has about it, it has jumped off. This one is here, we probably shall get the fruits. These ones, the fruits have come out. And um, it's only unfortunate that I've done this video early in the morning because right now it is around eight in the morning here in East Africa, Uganda, where I'm farming from in Africa. And it is around eight in the morning if it was around 11 this flower here it would have opened up very well and you happen to see what i'm talking about but still we shall learn something we shall farm together and we'll be in that promised land no we get food on the table that is our bottom line here at eden so these flowers may fall off number one why they may fall off lack of pollination a flower like this when it opens up it takes it five to seven days waiting to be pollinated inside here to make a fruit. I don't want to disturb this one. Maybe let me use the one which has fallen off. It will be waiting to be pollinated. Pollination, it is the transfer of those pollens from anther down here to the stigma. So if there is no insect which has fallen on this floor, like to transfer the pollens, fertilization to take place your flower may fall after seven days so when a flower is opened up like this it is waiting for the insects it is waiting for the wind to blow all by use of hands hand shaking you come and shake your tree and the pollen moves you shake your vines of the passion fruit and the pollen moves it reaches uh, the destination it has to reach from answer to the stigma then it will form for you a fruit like this one these small ones are just looking like twins very beautiful i love them others are here i have passion fruits however much they are not too many but i always tell you here at eden a one is better than a zero that's why for those people who could come to me and they are like i don't have this my children don't have this i could go back in my bed break down and even cry on my pillow and i'm like god you have given me a responsibility. How are we getting out of this? But at the end of the day, I 
could always tell God you're going to find from your way out. So I don't have a good source of water, but I'm managing to do this, this kind of work. Farming passion fruits, I told you those who have been watching, it is an activity which is on another level. It's not something you'll just wake up and you're like, I'm going to do this. There are higher chances of fading in this. But when you're farming with the Christian, I mean subscribe and we do this together. Number two, why you may have this flower fall. It is right here. When you have planted your passion fruit, you should fertilize your passion fruit at least once in two months. We use here a lot of things, including uh, the chicken poo. This is the manure which I always use. However, when you over fertilize also, like you come and put your manures, then after one week you're coming again to add another one. Over fertilization will increase the levels of nitrogen in your passion fruit. And when the levels of nitrogen are higher, you're going to get more of these leaves compared to the fruits. You'll find the fruits as they are coming, the nitrogen in the plant, it is telling them you're not wanted here. We want more of the leaves. So, lack of fertilization can lead to flower fall. Also, over fertilization can lead to flower fall. When we over fertilize, more leaves will come. And flowers, they are bought. When we don't fertilize, also, the plant get dehydrated. They don't have enough food. So you'll find also flowers, they are going to fall off. Number three, why your flowers still may abort, may fall off, may not give you fruits. Number three, inadequate irrigation. When you don't have a lot of water to pour here, we thank God right now it's the rainy season. But in the dry season, we have to water these plants here. We come and water the root area here at least every day with two liters of water at least two liters of water that is in the dry season right now it is raining that's why you can see a lot of grasses around here they all want to feed on the manures which we had put around here but in the dry season you'll find there's no grass around here and you have to just water to make sure you still get some fruits like these ones here actually this one has overproduced i think i had to just chop up this branch but I didn't maybe realize early. So they are coming up to down here. I'll see what to do. They are all ours. We shall still have them. So those are some of the reasons why your flowers may fall off. Number four, insects. The damages from insects. They are insects like uh, the spider mites. They are insects like the thrips. Those ones, they'll enter inside here in the flower. I didn't want to disturb this flower. It is still early in the morning, but uh, for the purpose of learning together, let me just open for you. The spider mites, the thrips, they enjoy the juices which are produced inside in here. So when those juices are there, you'll find these thrips, they come and disturb the flower. That's why when you're farming passion fruits, you need at least to spray around with some um, pesticides to control the damages they may cause to your passion fruits. So all these things here, the spider mites, the thrips, when they enter, they attack your flower here. Just be sure abortion is going to take place. Just know abortion is going to take place. They will not give you the, fruit, the fruits like these ones. You will not have the fruits. So, we have to farm together, we have to work together, try to irrigate your passion fruits. If it is pollination, which is disturbing, you don't have bees around, come once in a while in your, uh, on your vines of the, the passion fruits, shake them with a handshake. If there is enough wind, it will also help you to blow around and you get more of these passion fruits. Such that at the end of the day, you'll be able to smile like Christine. I have this. I have more. I always pick these passion fruits. I'll take you to the store where I also sell them. Because I can't just make juice and juice and juice. Though, there are some people I'm still annoyed with. They gave me a, a very good gift. We went for a sum party. And the gift was a glass which can accommodate a full liter of juice. I'll take that juice and in my full liter uh, glass of juice. And I stay farming.
I'll bring it and you have a look at it and you'll see how the whole thing went on. So we appreciate our farmers. Thank you for farming with us. I want to greet a friend of mine who has a real notebook where she writes most of the touching points that she wants to use when she retires from active service and she settles at the farm. Loy, I really salute you wherever you are. Though you told me you got a dream when you didn't get satisfied, dogs were chasing you. Please, today take care of yourself. Eat well. I told you in one of my videos that when people don't get good food, even their dreams are bad. Dogs are chasing you. You're falling in the water. In northern Uganda, we don't have a lake near here. But people, we are getting bad dreams like that. So we need to farm. We need to have a lot of food on the table. However much me, myself, sometimes I feel like Moses when he was taking the Israelites to a promised land. I always wake up and tell God, give me the courage to move on. To talk to these people who visit me, how do you do it? I told them there is no magic. But in Matthew 7, 7 tells us, pray, I'll answer. Ask, you'll get. So we don't need a lot. We need the grace of God to move on. I sign out telling you. Stay blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Love your family. Subscribe.